Sup guys, welcome to the Halo Forge Epidemic, I'm Oakley Hedef and today I'm going to be covering my top 5 wish list of things I think they need to do to Halo 5 Forge to improve it. Now the reason I'm talking about this is because E3 is rapidly approaching and with that we're going to see the unveiling of the new Xbox that's going to usher in you know, the next generation console and with new generations we're going to see improved capabilities coming with new games and that means all new and improved forge so my top five list here we go first is going to be that 343 needs to rework the objects list i think they need to have three main categories of objects and i'll go over that so first is going to be simple sizable pieces this is something 343 has not done yet and it's something that we desperately need we need large base pieces just something to lay the floor I want to be able to create a piece just that covers the floor of my map so that I don't fall through. I don't want to have to place 10,000 wall coliseums that are bumpy, that take forever to put down. Just let me place you know, an object on the ground and then size it. Let me say it's 100 feet wide by 200 feet you know, in length, something like that. Um, allow it to be custom sized. Now what I want you to imagine is essentially when you go into Forge and you pull out a hill, you have a hill marker, you can choose what type of shape it is. Is it cylindrical or is it a rectangle? Then you can see that you can change the size, the width, the height. That's what I think they should do for these custom objects. You should have the same object options, but instead of it being an invisible hill, why not make it a you know an object that has um, you know size to it and um, that would really improve what we can do. It'll allow us to paint these broad brush strokes, make the base of our maps, you know, with basic simple objects, and then after that we go ahead and add the detail. But we need the ability to lay the base for our forge maps, and if they do that, then we'll have all sorts of potentials that'll open up. So that's one category. The second category is gonna be functional pieces. What they need to do, for example, is give us stairs. I don't want the stairs that they give us now, which have railings, which have lips, which have weird curves to them. Just give me a normal staircase and I'll deal with the rest. If I want railings, I'll add railings. They need to give us just basic pieces, and that's going to be the name of the game, is just give us basic pieces and we'll build the pieces we want. Because what's happened with Forge is we have a lot of these pre-made pieces, but none of them are used as they're supposed to, and then whenever we do use them, we just use small bits and pieces. So functional pieces would include things like stairs, fences, windows, uh, roads. I don't know why we haven't had roads before. You know, long pieces that you can put down that make a vehicle track clear. It's easy. It's flat. You know, that would be very useful. You can have straight pieces, curved pieces, bridges, stuff like that. And also signs that help us differentiate our maps. So that would be in the category of functional pieces. Then we need theme pieces. This would be stuff that allows us to define our map in various ways. So I think they should have urban theme pieces, interior pieces, exterior pieces, military vehicles, debris, covenant, forerunner, um, you know, different things that allow you to set the tone and the theme for your map. And that's where you, they can invest, you know, the high resolution, high pixel stuff, whatever. All the memory goes into that. But for the basic pieces, just leave them basic, just leave them plain. Um, that way you can create big, large maps easily and cheaply without the game having to render out all this high detail stuff. Let us fill in the details. So that's going to be all about reworking the objects list. Next is going to be natural terrain. So I think they need to keep pushing the bounds of natural terrain. With Forge Island, they gave us more rocks and more trees. Keep on with it, 343. We need to see more of that. Additionally, what I'd like to see is them giving us the ability to place larger hills and larger cliff sides. So 343, push it a little bit farther. Additionally, what I think they could do is make a more functional Forge map. So what I think they should do is, for example, with the map that would be Forge Island, what they could do is give you different ways to alter the map while keeping the main geometry of the map the same. This will allow us to create more environments while keeping the same map. Um, so I'll explain that. So one way to do that is time of day effects. You could have it be morning, afternoon, or evening, and the change in lighting will change the mood and it'll make the map seem very different. So you can play in the dusk, or in the morning, and you won't have to rely on effects which have uh, in the past not really looked good and it's uh, it's ended up not being what they intended uh, the special effects to do. Additionally, what you could do is change the sea level of your map. So for example, on Forge Island, what if you could say it's high tide? The water rises, all, the, all of a sudden it's up to the level of the mushrooms and you have true islands that are right up at the water front level. That would be really cool. Um, additionally, what you could do is say it's low tide. All of a sudden the water disappears 
and at the bottom of what used to be the ocean is now a big, vast, expansive desert. So there you go, you have all your environments put into one map. All you have to do is change the sea level to reveal more of the map, and then also change the time of day, and there you go, one map with infinite possibilities. Now, the next section is going to be switches and timers. So what I mean by switches is player-activated events. That could be something like opening a door, uh, deploying a bridge, doing all sorts of stuff. And the proof of concept is in Dominion. You know, they've already taken the first step. What I think they should do is expand that to be not only more objects, so as I said, uh, opening and closing doors, gates, stuff like that, but also make it so you can use these in all types of game types, make it team-specific, make it um, you know different channels and stuff like that so if I don't have to be right next to the door I can click it on some part of the map and then maybe the door somewhere else opens give us time delays and stuff like that uh, timers is something I think they should change as well right now you can have objects not spawn into the map um, but there's a hard limit I think at five minutes why don't they extend that to ten minutes that'll allow us to make more maps more specific timed events uh, stuff like that now next is gonna be point four which is grouping and saving objects so if they implement all this customizability, what I think they should let us do is group our objects, move them as a single object, and then save them. So the saving feature is going to be important. Um, I'll go over this. So, you know, I build my basic um, object, then I add the details, and now I have a new piece. Instead of having to rebuild that every time, why don't they let us save it? Save it as like um, building warehouse or something like that. And then next time we go into our forge inventory, there's a section that's classified as custom section and there you go they'll be my custom building I can load it up and it'll come out just as I saved it before now what's cool about this idea is you could actually maybe upload these to your file share and you can have other people download your buildings so all of a sudden people can download and share these cool things you'll have prefab buildings that you can find and search and that would be a great way for the community to share ideas on a more bite-sized level and I think that would be really really cool now, point five is going to be supporting the community. If they go ahead with all these changes, it'll be great, but I think they should continue, take the next step, keep listening to people, make Forge DLC, add new game types, and also what would be really cool is add some sort of way online where you can set up a game, uh, an open lobby with your map, with your game type, and have people join in. So it'd be matchmaking, but for customs. Um, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my top five list. Go ahead and in the comments, Leave your constructive criticism below. Um, if you enjoy this, you know, I take pleasure myself in, you know, giving advice to companies, helping them, being constructive in my criticism. And what I'd say is uh, I actually do this uh, on the side and I've recently gotten into it. I would go ahead and check out Opinion Outpost. It lets you do similar stuff to this where you can give feedback to companies. So Opinion Outpost, basically what it is is you get paid or rewarded with free stuff for giving your opinions to companies. It's not a get rich quick scheme, but it's real research for big companies. So um, it's free to sign up. You go there, you give your opinion, you fill out surveys, and in return, you'll get cash or Amazon gift prizes. And every 10 months, they give away $10,000. So I'll put the link below if you guys want to get involved in that. It's something I do, and uh, you know, I just love giving feedback to companies and other stuff like that. Otherwise, in the comments below, leave um, what you think about my top five wish for Forge and go ahead and expand on it. And again, share this around with your people. And hopefully if we can build this and share this and get some really good ideas, maybe we can influence the future of Forge. Anyways guys, this has been Oakley Hydef with the Halo Forge Epidemic and I'm signing out. Peace out.